What's up, Rail Fanners? It's Richie 3 or up the booty old 2 here, and I have another Railworks 3 2012 tutorial for you guys. Alright, so this is part 2 of how to add assets and DLC into Railworks 3. So, here, I'm going to show you guys how to actually click the train, put it into a scenario, and just run it. Um, I know people have been asking me questions about how to do this. No one really seems to know, I mean, especially the beginners. So, this is for you guys. Alright, so um, take this nice and slow, just uh, so you guys don't miss anything, click on editor, then uh, go into a route of your preference, I'm going to use a test track that I edited a little bit, then you click on um, go over to a free roam scenario, then go to edit scenario, then it should start loading up, I'm just doing a quick test track that I changed. Uh, I'm just going to put a simply put a locomotive into it to show you guys how to select locomotives from the DLC uh, chooser type thing. It's pretty uh, pretty uh, interesting way. Um, also another quick tip is the more uh, DLC and assets you have selected um, to load the route and to load the scenario in, the longer it takes to load. And uh, this game does seem to take a while to load. So once you've got the scenario loaded in, um, I like to maximize all my menus so I can see what the heck I'm doing. Alright, so see we're up here at the scenario tools editor. Alright, so in this mode you can't click on the track and move it. This is specifically for moving around trains and like scenario based uh, information here. Alright, so see what I'm going to show you guys how to do is how to add these trains. Alright, first off, go over here. I don't know, this is, this is called the object set filter. You click on this little uh, tab, little box, small box with an arrow on it, then go over here. Then a little uh, menu type thing should pop out of the right side of the screen. You tab that down. Now, these are all the DLC add-ons that you, that you either downloaded or bought or from Steam. Um, that you can actually put into Routeworks. So I'm going to click on one I don't have. So let's just say the Flying Scotsman. You know what? All right, let's click on this. Click on this little arrow here, and it should select both of them. Um, just make sure they're both ticked. Um, and then go over here, back to this the engines and tenders icon. Click on that, and then you should see the A3 or the Flying Scotsman locomotive or whatever locomotive you chose it should appear now this isn't going to be really correct because this is an American route I believe maybe not, oh no actually this is a German route, the test track, my bad so, all right, so let's just get the Flying Scotsman in here and you just pick it, left click, you know, it's pretty simple uh, get a tender on here alright, that should actually, that wouldn't actually, it's not going to hook up but <laughs> no big deal, this is just a little tutorial now the next thing, simple step you gotta you gotta remember. Go up here, you gotta select a driver. Left click on that, go over here and left click on your locomotive. Then you should see a little driver icon appear above its, its head right here. Or above the smokestack or wherever, depending on the type of locomotive. Um then you all you do, uh click drive, yes, save changes. Oh yeah, save often to because I've had this game, it crashes a lot in the editor, so make sure you save, switch between the scenario editor and other, like the track tools and stuff, just to save the whole scenario, so you don't lose anything. So I can click on the locomotive here, take those brakes off it, yeah, see? That's about all it takes, and then... Yep, there we're off. So yeah, that's real simple, um, real easy, quick thing how to do how to add uh, trains into Railworks. Some of the m most important steps really of the game. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, uh, and remember to like, comment, subscribe, favorite, do all that stuff. 
help my videos grow and my channel grow. Um, and you know what? Yeah, just have a great day, guys. See you later. Help us out.